invading. Alright, I'm moving in for the kill. Oh shoot, they didn't see me. I didn't make it there in time though. Maybe a little late. Hey, That first blood. And Quinn picked it up. Damn, I kinda wanted that kill. Oh well. He was giving us a pep talk. No, not a pep talk. He's talking to us. Alright, so let's see. Hop to pretty soon. Actually, I think I missed a melee cube. No, never mind. Okay. Did he start Q? Yeah, he started Q. Pop a health pop. I'm almost level 2. He's gonna hit too soon. Oh, I jungler DC. That's not good. He just hit two. Mm -hmm. I think he'd actually win in the all in. Although I have a creep advantage right now. So you definitely have to keep that in mind. So I actually came out ahead slightly on that trade, just because of the creepy man. Even though I, I knew he had a bit a bit of a stronger early game. Mm, Trying to conserve my mana. I can use some though. It's Leona jungle too. Got a bit of damage off on him here. My ignite's down though. If I get boxed in from the Ona from the left, the right side, then I'd actually probably be in a bit of trouble. I'm kind of worried about that. I don't think I have the best kill potential on him right now. She could also just come through lane to be honest, just because he brings so much hard CC right now. Really comes down to what the dude wants to do. Is he maxing W? What the heck? It sustains pretty. It sustains pretty beast. Almost level five. Ram is DC, so his ganks are gonna be a bit delayed. Otherwise, he probably could make a play top. Almost level five. It's good though. So I knew I, my cooldown on Q is up. I knew I could burst him, just flashed in his face, and went for it. And it working out really well. Went back after pushing this wave out, and go back to buy. All 
I'm gonna try this on him. Actually, I'm enough for tier. I'm just gonna pick up tier, and I guess I'll go for long sword. Making the chat normal. So I want to get an early spirit of the early lizard on Jace, just to see how it feels. It's pretty damn ridiculous on an early Ezreal and many other champions. And Jace can definitely take advantage of all the stats it provides. But... I didn't get the hyper gate Q, otherwise I would have won that trade. As it stood, I kind of lost it. Which was bad. I need to pop health pots. He's a really big wave in my favorite too. He's missing. I'm just gonna hold the lane here. I'm already up by about 17 CS, so any any more CS I gain while just holding the lane is just gonna help build my lead. Um, he's gonna have to come up because he's melee and walking it, my, walking my combo range to be able to farm here. So I'm just gonna try not to push very hard and keep the lane as close as possible to my turret. And I just went for that combo. Actually, I'm like so much stronger than him, I think. I'm actually not in terms of items. Tier doesn't actually give me any trade potential, but it does let me win the, the long sustain game. I can just make a play on him, to be honest. I killed the creep and then I dropped my, my EQ combo. Probably being gang. Yep. I was waiting for my E to come up because I knew I wouldn't be able to finish him off with just my just my Q auto. Oh, I live by 50. If I waited for my E acceleration K to come up and get an accelerate uh, an accelerated shot class on him, then I think I would have died before I could even cast my Q. That's why I just went for it. I was like, damn, this is not gonna be enough damage, but I didn't really have any options there. It was a good gank and I didn't see it coming, so it just caught me out a bit off guard. Uh, I'm gonna buy another longsword and some health pots and a ward and run back top. As soon as he aggressed on me, I was like, "Damn, I'm being ganked!" But he was so low that I was like, "I think I can still get the kill and make it out." Um, but I was wrong. I thought it was actually Leona. I was like, "What the heck? Leona's not gonna reach me." And then Rumble drops the alt from Tri Brush. I was like, "Oh no, that's not good." Oh well. Drop my EQ there, pick up some creeps, and let's see. How close to spirit? I need like 600 more gold. Still a bit off. Could also rush brutalizer. Both of those are perfectly fine on Jace. To be honest, I should probably rush brutalizer and then get spirit if I want to get spirit. But that's probably what I should do. Especially because I already have double long sword. Realizer is much more effective the earlier you get it, because the flat armor penetration starts stops stops being as valuable once people have sc more scaling MR or actually pick up any armor items. Um, it's still it's still pretty good though. Very strong early mid game item for Jace. Let's see, where's Inzel? I have 75 CS. He has 41. So I'm I'm in vent. He got red buff. That was not something I expected. Wait, oh, I thought Nintendo DC'd. I was like, why is he taking the red buff? But I guess he just gave it to him. He's really low. I 
queue the creep next to him instead of him because if I queued him, I get probably too close and eat a turret shot. But by queuing the creep next to him, I just got the AOE damage off without actually committing to the fight. I got a pretty chunk there. He has quite a lot of damage, double longsword. Or double drones, wait, not longsword, sorry. He probably thinks I want it back. That's why I use my E. He gets baited by my lack of cooldowns, but I think I can just finish him off with a combo. Worth it. Damn it, that Quinn had turret aggro. That wasn't worth it at all. That was a free kill though. I didn't have to flash in at all. I was like, whatever, I'll just finish. I'll just pick him up. I want that red buff. And I was like, oh no, the turret's on me. And I died for free. If I just hit my initial, uh, if I just hit my initial Q EQ combo when I was standing in the brush, that would have been an easy kill. But he sidestepped it. And unfortunately, I ended up dying for it. So I got Spirit of the Elder Lizard. That's gonna give me AD, CDR, regen, which it's nice, but it's just really icing on the cake. And then the passive true damage. Why didn't Aaron's take it? I was just helping him combo it. Oh god. Yeah, I'm fine. Ah, he's dead. Hey, what's good? I drew like, I, I was taking like 20 creeps there. That's why I got solo. It was pretty scary. Oh no, don't die. Don't take the turret. I can deny him. I'm a lot stronger. Uh, and he's dead. I guess I'll go hold mid in the meantime. And then transition back top. The way pushing against me. Or against him, so I don't need to get there uh, that soon. Mm -hmm. Alright, and he's back ready. What the heck, she DC'd. Oh, she was typing. Alright, oh, we're getting human. Alright. That works. Gonna rank top. Um, let's see. He bought a giant spell. Okay. Not a bad pickup, especially because I picked up a true damage item. And knock him away. I need to get the creep wave. He's. What is he doing? Ah, uh, dang it! I would have killed him there if I stopped the recall. Oh well, my bad. I knew. I, I should have realized he was going back to you. He just. He just hard pushed the wave. I went to shop. Oh well. Kinda low. Move mid. Do, 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 do. Checking the red actually. If that's up, I can melt it with Spirit of the Elder Lizard. That's a free red. And now I'm gonna try to move mid. Hey! 
that's good. Oh, I want to finish that guy off. Aw, oh, I was going to flash for the EQ. Oh well. That was pretty funny. Should we... Should we be able to get a lot of damage off on the inhibit? If not, take it. Alright, I don't know. We'll see. Leona's coming back up to hold. I might just dive her. She has like no tank item. Oh my god, I drew turret aggro? I'm not even turned. No! Alright, I'm gonna back. Don't wanna lose my red buff. Going back to base. I get Brutalizer, uh, CDR boots, and a long sword, and just throw an award. Uh, this can actually cap me at 39% CDR, so I'm actually almost CDR cap without having a blue buff, which is really, really powerful to have 16 minutes into the game. And all my items are efficient, they're good early, and the build is not bad at all. You fool. Hopefully no one's coming top. Oh, Rumble is. What's his health at? Oh, shoot. It's gonna hide. What's good though? Oh my god, I live. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, I picked that kill up with the other lizard. Let's see if I can get this assist. Woo! Let's go, baby. There's the plays, that's what I'm talking about. I was actually considering turning on Rumble there, but I would have I would have died for the kill. It wouldn't have been worth it. That ended up a lot better. What? Um. Oh. <laughs> I'm take blue. Actually I don't need it, what the heck? I'm i I'm CR cap. Should get that. By the way, I don't pick up any points into my ultimate. It's just not worth leveling on Jace, in my opinion. That's good though. Ah, uh, hey, everyone. Good game. So that was a pretty good Jace game. Um, started off with a few early kills on Zin Zhao. It culminated with a pretty sick play that I still don't know how I live there. 
I thought I thought I was trying to flash behind Lulu to dodge the Kalen ult, but instead I still got hit by it, but Lulu ulted me and I barely lived and then I was able to kill Zyra and walk out before they got the damage off to kill me. And they just went back in. And they like over